Hey folks, in this video, I just wanted to take a little bit of time to review what's going on in this density of Lunum Lab and how to answer some of these questions. Um, so first off, you're just gonna need to define density. You might wanna Google this. It's probably an easy way to do it. Step two, you need to identify how we're going to determine mass in the laboratory and two methods that can be used to find the volume really of any object. Hint, hint, they're listed below. Um, you should have done this in lab, so don't sweat this, but if you didn't calculate the average density from each graph, you're going to need to do that. Do that report. So each, sorry, table has its own average density. You're going to need to make a graph, two graphs, one, at least two graphs, one for each of your data tables. So I've got this data table, that should make a graph. I've got this data table, that should also make me a graph. Now, if we wanna look at a good example of what those graphs look like, let's look over here. Merp, um, scroll on down to one of these graphs. Where they at, where they at, where are my graphs at? My computer, don't be a slow button. Um, so here's a really good looking graph. It has a title, it tells me what I'm actually. It's got a line of best fit. It's got labels on the axes and it has an equation of the line there. Um, cool, so here's another one. Oh, this looks like a cleaned up version of this graph, much better. And it also has all those things, no outliers, a title that clarifies what we're looking at, labels on our axes, and also an equation of the line. If you do not have all of these elements of your graph, you don't have a sweet graph and you're gonna wanna redo it. Um, cool. Moving on, you will need to use this equation of the line, this 2.562 times x plus this number. This is basically our y equals mx plus b, but we don't have y equals in here. Um, but if you imagine y equals in front of this, this is the, our y equals mx plus b, or this standard form format for equation of a line. Cool, let's go back to my blank version of this dude. Um, sweet stuff. So all these questions that refer to, well, actually, let's just keep going straight through. So here, if you're not in, uh, sure what directly proportionate or indirectly proportionate means, Google them, okay? Do that. Uh, next, moving on. You're gonna wanna look at one of your graphs to get the line of best fit. That is the equation. So here, our line of best fit is this line, and the equation for the line of best fit is y equals 2.562 times x plus 1.864. The r squared value is not part of the equation of the line. You do not need this for anything other than seeing, hey, does my line do a good job of touching my data points? That is all the r squared is for. It is not the equation of the line. It is not the equation for the line of best fit. Okay, so going back over here, the equation for the line of best fit is, like I just said, that value that's part of your graph. And if it's not part of your graph, you need to redo your graph. And you need to see the video that I put together on how to do graphing. Um, great, so you wanna compare the value of density from the graphs, that would be your slope, with the average density from each procedure. Now that means you're gonna look at your graph that you make using this, the data that you have in this fill table. And you're gonna compare the density you get from that graph with the average density you have here from averaging up your calculated densities. That's what we're looking for there. I wanna to clarify too that saying, oh, one is smaller or one is bigger is really not a good answer. Um, bigger could mean thousands of times larger, or it could mean like 50% larger. So you need to be specific if you're gonna say something is bigger than another thing. Need to be specific with your numbers. Um, cool. I'm gonna skip by this one and let you think about this one on your own. Percent error. If you do not have a really good graph that shows the equation of the line, there's no way to answer this question. So you must have a graph that shows the equation of the line. You're gonna get the experimental value from your graph and the accepted value is provided for you right here. So it's important to read the question. And importantly, you should also end up with 2% errors because you have two different graphs at least. Cool, you can answer this question after you've calculated percent errors. And really that's all that I feel like really needs to be explained. Um, most people have not too much of an issue answering these remaining questions. 
So I hope that clarifies some of the common questions people were asking about this lab. And um, yeah, ta-ta. Have a great rest of your life.